Hello everyone, welcome to Urbanscape Bangalore and in today's episode we will be learning about this particular plant and it is named the Globe Amaranth or the Gomfrea. So I will be telling you about its care as well as propagation today. I will also show you how to propagate it. It's quite simple and also the conditions that uh, this particular plant relishes. So let's look at what kind of gomfrenas uh, I have. I have a pink variety, I have a white variety and I have a purple variety. And there is another variety that uh, gomfrena has come in and that is uh, a strawberry red color. So it actually looks like strawberries. So it is that beautiful. So if at all you guys have that particular gomfrena and you are in Bangalore, then I can exchange these things for that particular variety. So let's just uh, look at the plant carefully. So you might again think that these uh, you know, plants, these flowers are actually, these colors are actually the flowers, but these are the bracts again. The flower, as you can see, if you can, if I can zoom out, you can see some yellow uh, things in between this, these bracts and that is the flower. It is very tiny, it is very minute, so it's a little difficult for you guys to see. Let me see if I can show, show you guys in a white. So I do not ah uh, yeah you can probably see these this particular flower here uh, so you can see some yellow small small yellow flowers that is the flower actually and uh, this so these are this modified uh, as flowers not the real flowers these colors you know these bring out the color so that the uh, you know butterflies and other insects get attracted to it so it's a very popular plant among butterflies because these have tiny tiny flowers and their you know little uh, nectar sucking tools can get into it easily so the care of this particular plant is very simple and uh, the sunlight conditions that it requires is that it can tolerate both full sun as well as part shade but then in full sun the uh, leaves generally yellow out so that kind of does not look all that great so i prefer keeping it uh, under part shade conditions where it does not get the east uh, you know it does not get the morning sun but then it gets the afternoon sun so it does really well there but uh, the tendency of this plant uh, is that it gets dried out in that particular uh, direction. So it requires water. So I have placed this particular container. So if at all I go outside. So that's like a drip irrigation system. Uh, I pour water into it and then these get uh, the water when we are away. So that is one particular thing. So watering is very important. It has to be damp. Not soggy, wet again, but damp. So it is also really good as an underplant, uh, you know, if you want to underplant a particular, uh, you know, a particular container, then these are really good. And if that particular plant, as in the main plant, does not really like uh, sitting, sitting in water and you have really clay soil, then this particular uh, plant is really good. You can just uh, throw the seeds around the pot and then these plants come up. And then these uh, plants suck out the extra moisture in the soil. So it's a very good companion plant that way. So we spoke about the sunlight requirements, the water requirements. Uh, now the soil requirements, it, it, generally likes, it generally likes rich soil. So I add compost to it uh, now and then, maybe uh, in once in three weeks and add a little bit of fertilizer so that you know you get this particular result as and it's just bloomed so well and people keep looking at it and you know ask uh, for the seeds and stuff like that so it's a it's a very uh, versatile plant that way so uh, i so this particular container has another plant and this is a ground a chinese ground orchid so it still hasn't flowered. I probably will cover that plant in another episode. 
so for now we will just stick on to gomfrenas so uh, uh so it's very easy uh, to collect the seeds so you see uh, a, a plant dying like this and you know the flowers have dried out and uh, you know i'll show you one flower here so you can see the flower is drying out here it's it's becoming white and then it has uh, you know the color is intact here so these are actually the seeds the white uh, things you just have to take it off and then spread it across the soil you don't have to do you don't have to uh, you know put it deep inside the soil or anything just spread it on top of the soil and uh, you will get uh, these saplings i will show you uh, uh, a few uh, examples of uh, you know how it grows and how the saplings look like so that you don't uh, take and throw it away yeah so uh, apart from that so just collect the seed so this you can touch it if it is if the yellow flowers are gone if you see the yellow flowers are gone and it is not there that means it has dried so just take it and if the uh, you know uh, leaves are, uh, are a little dry and you know they are almost dying and even if you put water it, it does not resurrect itself then it means uh, you know if the seeds can be collected so you just take one particular uh, flower so it is it is part of the amaranth family so most of the amaranth uh, plants are like this they have tiny seeds inside you cannot see it actually but then they have very they're very tiny so you just have to do this so once you do this so these are the seeds these these things are the seeds so once you do this take this and just sprinkle it around the soil that's it that's the only thing that you have to do so now I will show you some examples of a sapling. So I will sacrifice this particular sapling for it. So you will see that you will uh, get such saplings and uh, do not throw it off because these are gomfrena saplings. So it is very simple. I think it. Uh, takes maybe two weeks for this particular seed to grow into a sapling and guys I would like to take this opportunity to thank all my subscribers and viewers because guess what my channel now has more than 100 subscriptions and I would like to show my gratitude to all of you by bringing honest updates on my gardening I would also want to tell you that my Gerbera saplings have not sprouted it has become a damp squib. However, I will keep striving to bring you more happy gardening videos. Thank you and keep subscribing to Urbanscape Bangalore.